good day. The state television campaign of Western Armenia represents the most important news for today, today's broadcast. Session of the National Assembly. The condolence message on the death of Gagik Ginosyan. The 14th issue of Western Armenia magazine has been published. Baku destroys everything in Artsakh, Hobi Gavanesov, the Turkish bullet in the body of Armenian woman. We end our place names. Session of the National Assembly Parliament on February 7, 2024, the regular session of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia took place on the online platform. The session began with the minute silence to the honor of death of Gagi Ginosyan and honorary citizen of Western Armenia. A number of issues were discussed at the regular session of the National Assembly, among which were the discussions related to the complementarity of the international regulation and discussions of the procedure of the commissions of the National Assembly and issues on procedure of the obtaining a parliamentary seat in National Assembly. The condolence letter on the death of Kagik Ginosyan. The National Assembly of Western Armenia, with deep sorrow, learned about the ultimately death of a prominent intellectual, national, and public figure honorary citizen of Western Armenia, Gagi Ginosyan. Full of life and energy, Gagi Ginosyan's untimely death saddened the heart of many. Our culture lost a good personality and intellectual. We all lost a good friend and a good relative, Gagi Ginosyan. Our condolence to the family of Gagi Ginosyan from the Parliament of National Assembly of Republic of Western Armenia. The Western Armenian magazine, a 14 issue, has been published in the new magazine. You can be informed about one-year plan of the newly elected president of the Republic of Western Armenia, Lydia Markosyan. In the 14th issue, you can get acquainted with the details of the event that took place on January 21, during which the first president of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, issued citizenship certificates of Western Armenia. In the new magazine, you will be informed as well about the details of the meeting between the president of the Nation Council of Western Armenia and Hamlet Minasyan, the president of the Armenian office of ECOSOC. The Armenian, English and French versions of the magazine can be downloaded in PDF format below. In order to record the social and legal needs of internally displaced persons from Artsakh, it is necessary to resume the work of the Federation of Trade Unions of Artsakh. Ara Garhamanian, the former chairperson of Artsakh Trade Union Federation, expressed his disappointment and added during the press conference that the Federation intends to coordinate activities with the Co-Federation of Trade Unions of Armenia, with which contact and cooperation have already been established. In Artsakh, the Federation has carried out large-scale activities in the direction of solving social problems, employment, protection of rights. We have set problems before the government and we have reached a solution of most of them. In Armenia, our citizens have difficulties in terms of understanding the government decision, legal issues and platforms with job placements. We consider necessary the resumption of our work and it will only bring benefits. Artsakh citizens have opportunity to contact with the Artsakh Federation and we will find opportunities to solve the problems. We are obliged to resume work in Armenia and, with help of the Confederation of on Trade Unions of Armenia, transfer the interest of the citizens of Artsakh to the government of the Republic of Armenia. Ghahramanian said that some work has already been done to provide assistance and employment. With the support of the Public Council of Artsakh, the work of needs on need, on need assessment activities of internally displaced persons have already started in all Marzis. On September 19, 2023, when Baku started a war against Artsakh and carried out genocide and ethnic cleansing against displaced Armenians, from Artsakh started as well to destroy Armenian monuments. Distorting history, Baku presents Armenian monuments as if they are Avanian, at the same time permanently erasing the Armenian inscriptions on them. Aliyev started his policy in Hadrut when he openly declared that all Armenian records that exist must be destroyed. Recently, Baku also vandalized the Becker monument of hero of Artsakh war, Ashot Hulyan, which is located in Stepanakert. In a conversation, Hovik Avanesov, head of the Caucasian Studies Center of Mesop Mashtots University of Artsakh, alarmed that Baku continues to destroy Armenian culture of Artsakh. Armenia must prevent it in state level. 
According to him, Baku has openly announced that everything will be demolished, whatever was built in the Republic of Artsakh after 19th, and anything that was built before it will be presented as garbage. This is the stage policy of Baku. Recently, an announcement was also published regarding the Haterk Memorial Complex, which is again dedicated to Artsakh Liberation War. That is, Baku is destroying everything one by one. We encounter such vandalism every day. The entire historical and cultural heritage of Russia is at risk. The genocide committed against Armenians, Museum Institute present the story of Haikanush Makartich Halajan. She and his entire family were forcibly displaced from their hometown of Sebastia in 1915. Armenian exiles were subjected to cruel experiments on the way to their door. Turkish gendarmes tortured and killed Haikanush relatives in front of her eyes. After emigration, Haikanush returns to Sebastia, establishes a new family, has a son, adopts an orphan girl, and then moves to France with her family. In 1946, Haikanush Halajan was repatriated to Soviet Armenia. Haikanush lived for 84 years with the Turkish bullet lodged in her chest and nightmarish memories of the massacre. Before her death, she asked her son Recha not to bury the Turkish ball in Armenian land. During Haikanush's autopsy, it was found that the bullet was attached to the bone and broke off with the bone when it was removed from the body. Gilikia was not spared from the falsification of the Turkish occupied authority. In Gilikia, in Marash province of Aleppo, Vilayet, between the towns of Marash and Sis near the Shugri, Georgia, where the Seyan River flows, said Shugri Monastery. The residence of the Catholics of Armenia, which is set on the hills. Turks renamed the name into Ish Nahi Monastery, which means a monastery of the inner province. Shugri Monastery was a famous cultural and literary center. In the central part of Armenian highlands, from the peaks of Greater and Little Masses to the left bank of the West Yeprat River. Mayan's peak extending in the parallel direction and being the highest point of mountain of the Armenian highland, Armenian part that had different names in different parts in ancient time. The eastern part of the mountain part was called Ayaradian Learning, the part of the west of which was called the Bardori or Pardugmian monument to the west of it. The Sukavet mountains and most of the western part was Aspdung mountain range. They renamed the Armenian mountain range Agre Dagh, where Agre means pain. On the Seyhan or Pyramus River, flowing through the territory of the Armenian state of Kiligan, emptying into the Mediterranean Sea, 14 kilometers southern from Zaytun village of Marashi province of Aleppo, Vilayet, located near mountain Ekzuk and the bridge built by Hovannes, one of the Armenian bishops, that is why it is called Vartapet Bridge. Unfortunately, Turks changed the name and called it Hamide, named after a Turkish person name. This was all for today. Goodbye.